Okay, some Mendoza. Now we're going to Mendoza. Some Mendoza fun facts. It dominates winemaking in Argentina. This, this produces the most wine of any region in Argentina. Um, it contains 70% of Argentina's vineyard acreage, even though the wine area stretches what we, we say 900 miles. This, this area here has the greatest concentration of, of vineyards in it. Um, the vineyards are planted between 2,000 and 4,000 feet above sea level. The reason for that, again, is it's in a desert and you need to get the, um, the vines at a certain elevation so it's not too warm. It's protected by the Andes Mountains on the east and the Pampas Mountain, west, I mean, and the Pampas Mountains on the east. It's divided into uh, five subregions, and each of the subregions have <coughs> different characteristics. And most of the Melbach isn't a single region. What they like to do is they like to create blends of the different characteristics of the different re regions. So you don't see a lot of single region uh, Melbachs, although there are some. <clears throat> that come from Mendoza. They usually just carry the Mendoza designation. <clears throat> and here's an example of a vineyard in Mendoza with the Andes in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you can see the snow that melts and eventually irrigates the vineyards. Melbeck. It's inky blackberry plum flavors, full-bodied, smooth tannins usually, although I think this one has a little bit of a bite to it. New oak and some more expensive varieties. If it's grown at a lower altitude, remember we talked about it gets more sun, sunlight so it gets to ripen longer. It's fuller bodied and you have richer fruit. Higher altitudes, <coughs> it's more elegant, it's fresher. Um, it's you get more floral aromas. Ours is higher altitude, although I do get some good fruit in it. It's often blended with Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and, and uh, Petit Verdot. Those, and you can drink it young as well. You don't necessarily have to age your Melbachs a long time. In, in addition, we said that Argentina makes 75% of the Melbach in the world. It's also grown in France, Chile, the United States, South Africa, Australia, and Italy. Um, in terms of Melbeck food pairing, steak, pork, lamb, blue cheese, a lot of fat, provolone, mozzarella, melted Swiss, goes well with mushrooms, roasted peppers, potatoes with, with, with different seasonings, foods with uh, shallot, sage, rosemary, cumin, and pepper. Um, those are some Melbeck food pairings.